I think for me, my path was a little bit different than some of the other folks that have come through here. Uh, I was first a minority fellow 10 years ago or so and did um, the full year, I think it was a three year support at that point. Um, and so I've been around the block a couple times now and I think that the Minority Fellowship Program is one of the very few organizations that really follows you through your career and really makes sure that you are okay as one of their fellows as you're going through all the trials and transitions and whatnot through graduate school and then internship and postdoc and then on to your early career days. Um, and I signed up to be one of the Psychology Summer Institute people, fellows to come back. Um, because I was at a point in my career where I had some questions that I thought that they were uniquely qualified to answer about um, cultural things and um, how, as a professional, I should fit into that world and how I should be doing my research and my practice a little bit differently, and so came back that way. So I think one of the biggest strengths of the MFP is is how much they care and how much they um, they they really make sure that you're you're set up for success in a lot of ways as you go through. I think when I first started, I had no idea what cultural psychology was or what it even meant to um, pick research apart in terms of looking at things from various ethnic minority um, statuses. And so I have, I've had a lot of growth <laughs> since I've been a fellow. Um, they, they've more than just looking at some data and saying, oh, you are whatever category you are, therefore, clearly you have this, um, this trajectory in your life. Um, they really make you think critically about those issues and not just identifying somebody as some ethnic minority category, for example, or a woman or whatever the grouping is, um, but, but really having you focus in on people's life experiences around, um, around that status. And how does the, the totality of those experiences make it so that they're at whatever point they're at now in their lives? And so I think both from a research perspective as well as a clinical perspective, um, and I primarily do clinical work at this point versus research, um, it's really helped shape how I view my clients and my clients' experiences and not to be overly um, stereotypical when people are walking through my door. So other people should get involved with the MFP yeah. because of all of the support that they provide uh, across a number of different levels. So research, clinical, um, they open a lot of doors in terms of policy and opportunities in terms of networking. Um, so anybody who is interested in going in a research career would be helped by being part of the MFP because they have a lot of connections and there are a lot of funding streams that are specific to what they're doing. So um, that's great information to have moving forward. Uh, and I think in terms of, you, you don't typically think of um, policy or forensic stuff when you think of psychology and that's something that they emphasize as well so um, anybody who's interested in going into sort of a policy career too um, helps them get where they need to go.